The San Fernando Wastewater Facility is phase one of a multi-phased wastewater rehabilitation program spearheaded by the Ministry of Public Utilities and the Water and Sewerage Authority. Acting Head of Wastewater Projects, Darren Ghazi, explained that this new facility replaces a 60-year-old system and will positively impact approximately 40,000 residents in San Fernando and environs. Today, this state-of-the-art facility is a milestone accomplishment for the wastewater sector in Trinidad and Tobago, as it is designed and constructed to include advanced wastewater treatment technology to produce a high-quality effluent suitable for reuse. The new San Fernando wastewater treatment plant has a capacity of 45. Minister of Public Utilities Marvin Gonzalez noted that the project, which began construction in 2013, was funded by the Inter-American Development Bank at $654 million. Several other projects will also be funded through the IDB in areas such as Mayaro, Point Fortin, Toco and Goldsboro. In Trinidad and Tobago. So the first component would comprise of $44 million and this will finance the development of a comprehensive program to urgently stabilize water services to prevent further decline throughout the country and to improve water supply. What are we going to do with that? We are going to purchase six to eight modular water treatment plants to be deployed in strategic areas across Trinidad and Tobago. Two of those plants will be... Cons Minister Gonzalez also mentioned that the transformation of WASA will provide opportunities for young persons involved in new technology and to retool and reskill existing employees. It is going to be very difficult. And when one understands the vision that we entail, that we are about to, to roll out in the water sector in Trinidad and Tobago, how can one possibly oppose the transformation of the Water and Sewage Authority? The San Fernando Wastewater Treatment Plant has the capacity to process 10 million gallons of water per day and provide a 24-7 water supply to families. Ayana Carter, TTT News.